wait, what is that you're putting in your coffee, Farah? Oh, this? Why, it's a delicious, terrific, new, no-calorie sugar substitute called Slim Sweet. Just one drop of Slim Sweet equals half a cup of fattening, unhealthy, diabetes-causing sugar. Here, try it. Mm. 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 Slim Sweet made right here in China. But we're not in China. What's that you're eating for breakfast, Pepper? Oh, this? This is leftovers from last night. I whipped up some Meat Burger Mentor, the quick and easy way to turn a disgusting pound of ground beef into a delicious dinner. <laughs> mm, try it. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe there were any leftovers. Huh? Because it's so good. <laughs> What the hell are you two doing? Oh, it's this new thing called product placement. Yes, companies pay us big bucks to subtly mention their products in the show. Hmm. Well, you two certainly put the B in stubble. Subtle. Anyway, you know, this is exactly the kind of shameless shenanigans that makes me want to pull my hair off. Uh -huh. I, I mean, out, out, pull my hair out because this is my natural hair after all. <laughs> mm -hmm. It just looks this shiny and fake thanks to. I can't believe that's not a wig. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, I have your new assignment. Ooh. You two are gonna have to infiltrate a drug ring hiding out in a secret location. Ooh, a dark, seedy warehouse in the worst part of town? No. A secret lair carved into the side of a mountain in Geneva? Oh, we're going to Geneva! <laughs> no, it's in the country. The, the country? Mm-hmm, as rural as it gets, okay? The sticks, the boonies, no Westville. These people are churning their own butter, eating possums for dinner, and marrying their first cousins. Sounds cute. And won't hesitate to shoot a couple of nosy city slickers like you two without batting an inbred eye. We're not afraid. If it gets those dirty drugs off the street, it's worth the risk. Yes. So tell me, what are we talking about here? Crystal? Crack? Crank? Mm -hmm. Actually, something called Marijuana. Yes, yes please. please. Uh, Mary, what? I'd never heard of it. Now, this is a family business, okay? It's run by a maniacal matriarch named Polly Darton with her two stupid sons, Ben and Jerry. Hmm. But get this. You two are going to accidentally bump into them at... The, the county, county Fair. Fair. Yes! <sighs> And you know what? Because of that product placement earlier, we've got about three minutes to crack this case. Oh. Nice watch. Looks fancy. Oh. Hi, D. I'm Polly Darton, and these are my two sons, Ben and Jerry. That watch right there kind of looks like something the city slicker might wear. Oh, <laughs> that watch ain't nothing but cheap trash. Oh, the only cheap garbage I'm looking at are you two painted Jezebels. <laughs> Excuse me. Rude. Yep. That's an expensive watch, all right. Oh, come on. If this watch were expensive, would I do this? Ah! Oh, she's just freaking out because it has a sentimental value. <laughs> oh, you know what would help her calm down? Oh, maybe some, I don't know, marijuana? Yeah, maybe you could hook us up with some of that there grass or pot or a weed. I'm, I'm afraid, afraid we, we don't, don't know, know what, what that is. is. I speak their language. You know, wacky jabaki. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but if you want to meet our friend, Mary Jane, you're going to have to prove you ain't no she sheriffs. Excuse me? You know, the lady law. Beg pardon? Police with pussies. Buzz with front butts. Cops with cunts. Got it. <laughs> yeah. You need to prove that you're all red-blooded American female type people if you want to get our little secret sauce. <laughs> so you're going to have to answer three questions. 
Bring it all. Oh, it's already been brought to bitches. Question one. What is the greatest movie ever made? Ernest Goes to Camp. Oh, okay, that was easy, that was easy. Question two. What is the best dipping sauce for your homemade squirrel nugget? Equal parts Miracle Whip and store brand grape jelly. Is that your final answer? Oh. With five packets of mild sauce from Taco Hut. Oh, I love me, Taco Hut. Oh, Hutt. God, me too. Oh. That is correct. <sighs> All right. Your final question. And no help from you, Miss Piggy. What? Suey. I'm looking at you, skinny girl. Thank you. You're welcome. Question number three. It is little known that country music legend Reba McIntyre drives around with a handicapped parking pass. What is her disability? <sighs> Just kidding. Reba has no upper lip. That is correct. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were some nosy narcs, but I'm finding out that you're just some down-home, Reba-loving country folk like us. <laughs> How much would you like? Freeze, you hamp-hawking hillbilly. You're under arrest, you reefer retailing rednecks. <laughs> you have freckles and pigtails and a blacked-out tooth. And you answered all my stupid questions. hey yo! I'm wired for sound, stupid. I've been talking to the local sheriff and he's been feeding me the lines. And you're wired too? No, I'm just a massive Reba fan. <laughs> Sounds like we got a lot in common. How about you come work for me and make some uh, real money? I may be Reba loving trash, and I may live paycheck to paycheck in a seedy one room apartment in the worst part of town. But if it keeps deadly drugs like marijuana off the streets, then it's all worth it. Because we're the Lady, Lady Cops! Oh shit, I got blood stain on this outfit. Oh. oh. Don't you fret. Stain Away 2000 will get it out for you. 